The poison's gonna kill me in a few minutes. I, I gotta find Sean fast. I hope it's not too late. Sean! Where's Sean? Sean! Sean's done for if I've got the address wrong. Sean! Sean! Can you hear me? Daddy's here. I'm gonna get you out of there. Answer me. Don't die on me, son, please. Breathe. Gotta breathe. I thought you were gone. <laughs> Dad, I, I knew you'd come and oh. save me. Sean, oh. listen. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I want you to know that whatever happens, I love you more than anything in the world. Dead. I took the poison an hour ago, and, and I'm not dead. Ethan! What are you doing here? Still looking for a story? I know who the killer is, Ethan. I can prove your innocence. Congratulations, Ethan. You succeeded. You're the father that I have been looking for all these years. The man capable of giving his own life to save his son. You got what you wanted. I finished your trials. Now let us go. I'm afraid that's not possible. Your lady friend knows my little secret. I don't intend to end my days in prison. I'm going to have to kill you both. I'm sorry. You earned my respect. 
General relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Organic Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Organic Killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today, it is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public.
this where we're gonna live now? Only if you really, really want to. Or we can keep on looking until we find something you like. It doesn't matter where we live, as long as we're together. I will never let anyone or anything separate us again. We're stuck with each other, kiddo. Like glue. Can I choose what my room is? Sure thing, Chad. All right, then I think we can stay here. about to receive a Pulitzer Prize for her remarkable series of investigative articles about the origami killer case. Showing incredible courage, her daring intervention led to the arrest of the country's most wanted criminal and saved the life of a little boy. This evening, I welcome a woman who might well be the true definition of a heroine for the ages, Madison Page. Good evening. Thank you for agreeing to talk with us. Now, you've been described as being both determined and tenacious, two qualities, no doubt, that were needed to see you through the dark hours of this unbelievable story. Were you afraid at any time? For John, please. We need more journalists like you, Miss Page. It's a good thing you were there to catch that bastard. Thank you. What's your name? Vincent. Excellent investigation, Miss Page. You are one brave lady. You deserve a better adversary. Somebody more ferocious. Are you sure you've thought this through, Norman? You've got a promising career ahead of you. It's a pity that... With all due respect, sir, I'm done thinking. I need to lead something like a normal life. I've just got a bit too close to everything recently. I need to step back. At least for a while. Will you be coming back to the FBI? I don't know. I'm making no promises. You can keep your Ari if you like. This one's going offline. There's a new model due next month. I... I think you better take it back. It's just a little too compelling, and well, it won't help me where I'm going. The real world. Whatever you want. I hope you find what you're looking for, Norman. I hope so, too.
want to see them again. I'm a father too.